hiking, which seemed like a really good idea at the time. But the thing that keeps making me laugh is they've got all these signposts that have absolutely nothing on them. Uh, halfway, I think, up the mountain. As I said, that you can see the can see, see the, the flag. flag. So this is a good sign. Yeah, we're gonna make it. Hoping to aim for sunset, so we'll see how that goes. But I can see the flag in a sort of the way you can see the Burj Khalifa when you're driving into Dubai. Oh, yeah, it might, really it might be quite far. far We made it past the first flag. Um, yeah, it's quite bright. Uh, we're making our way up to the second flag, hoping to get a nice sunset view, and then making our way down. We parked down there, and it feels like a very long way away. Rexes were archaeologists that have a really hard time. Lovely night's sleep. Mm. Our lovely neighbour back there decided to show up at 11 p.m. and play music all night. Yeah, it's great. And he had a petrol generator. And our mattress deflated. It's good. It's beautiful. Though. It's uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. So let's uh, so let's go to Wadi Shis. Driving through Wadi Sheath, there's like like a tarmac road just completely destroyed and like rock full and everything. And then we get to this certain point and this dude's in a car and he's like, oh, you know, the road's closed. It's not closed, it's just completely destroyed. There is no road anymore. Had a, uh, a lovely little stop at the waterfall, Ooh. and now I'm hungry. Second breakfast. I ordered a burger shakshuka, and it's literally just like 
egg and tomato in a bun. Not what I was expecting, but we like to give new things a try. Chocolatey goodness. Where? Where is it? Well, have you ever thought about how boats refuel before? Sometimes they have like an actual gas station mm -hmm. for boats.